All right, we're doing number nine. So we have r equals 10r squared. Well, it's beautifully set up, ready to go for us. We're gonna square both sides. So we have r squared equals 10r. Uh, now we just need to solve for r. So I'm gonna subtract 10r, uh, subtract 10r. I get r squared minus 10r equals zero. Now do a greatest common factor. Uh, there's an r in both of these terms, so we can pull out an r, and I'm left with r minus 10. That equals zero. Uh, so here are our possible solutions. We can set r equal to zero, and that's a possible solution. Or r minus 10, set that equal to zero. As our other possible solution, we want to add 10, r equals 10. So two possible solutions is r equals zero and r equals 10. Let's see which one works or which ones work. So if we were to plug in uh, 10 here, let me pull this up. We plug in 10 for r, that would be 10 times 10, which is 100. Square root equals 10. So that works. If we were to plug in 0 for r, 10 times 0 is 0. Square root of 0 is 0. So actually, both of these guys work. Uh, let's do 13 just for space reasons. Uh, square not outer space. Uh, we'll act like this guy doesn't exist and we'll use that. Square both sides, we have uh, negative 16 plus 10a equals a squared. Get everything to one side as fast as you can. Add 16, subtract 10a. We're going to add 16 and subtract 10a. And I'm going to order it a little bit better. I have a squared. Everything is equal to zero. Uh, minus 10a plus 16. Zero equals, this is me factoring, a minus something, a minus something. Uh, eight times two is 16, two and eight together equal 10. You know, it's just the opposite, right? It's just a equals eight and a equals two. You could just, boom, make it real quick. So we have possible solutions as a equals eight and a equals two. Plug those in. If we plug in two, that's 20. Negative 16 plus 20 is four. Four square root, does that equal two? Yes, it does, so two works. How about eight? If we did eight, that would be negative 16. Let's try that again. That would be negative 16 plus 80. That is um, 54, is that right? No, 64, hey, 64 square root. Does that equal eight? Yes, it does, check. We got them both. See you next time, mathletes.